Yeah, that is delicious. I'll put the, the ingredients up on here, just in case y'all missed it. Mmm. Mmm. He also wait, said, wait, wait, wait. But they have a son together? They have a son together. But he has a girlfriend. Okay. Okay. He says he also wants to be with me, but he doesn't want to hurt the girl's feelings. We're still intimate very often, and we talk and text every single day. Wow. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click bait. Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. Today, you guys, I'm doing a seafood boil mukbang. I'm so hungry, I cannot wait to eat this. I have a new sauce and I'm doing two viewer topics today. Y'all ready? Then let's get into the video. All right guys, I'm back. So today I have king crab, I got two lobster tail. I have giant shrimp, sausage, that's a chicken, uh, bourbon sausage, beef ramen here, boil and boiled eggs. Now this ramen, you guys, this is Samyang ramen but it's not uh, the two times spicy. Hopefully, it's not as spicy as that is. That's the goal, because I really love that uh, ramen, but it's just way too spicy, y'all. So we're gonna, we gonna pray this is not like that, but still tasty. So let's try it out. This is my first time trying this one. Mmm. It's good. It has a little bit of spice to it, but definitely nowhere near. Mm. So, I got a little one time spicy, y'all. Just in case I want it a little spicier. I also made a new sauce. I just did something random today. Tasha has been using monk, monk fruit to instead of sugar. So I wanted to try to make myself a monk fruit um, sauce. So it's butter, lemon lime, Old Bay, lemon pepper, garlic, onions, and hot sauce, and monk fruit. So let's test it out. Sure. Let me try it with the lobster, y'all. It's nice and chunky, too. Can y'all see that? Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. I'm so happy that we found a sweetener that really tastes good in these sauces, y'all. Because I've been trying to cut out sugar for the longest. But, yeah, that is delicious. I'll put the, the ingredients up on here, just in case y'all missed it. Mmm. Mmm. That's kind of bomb. I want to say rest in peace to all the passengers that were on the flight that killed Kobe Bryant and his daughter. I don't know everybody's name, so rest in peace to everybody on that flight, y'all. It's very, very sad. I also have some green onions here. I don't know why I love green onions with um, pasta and rice. Am I the only one? Probably. <laughs> um, yeah, so, whew. That crash, man. See, me and Tasha are really afraid of uh, planes and... Any type of vehicle I'm not in control of, I'm somewhat afraid of. I mean, that's why we don't, um, like when y'all see us going on our little mini vacations, it really be somewhere close. But neither one of us like to fly. And like things like this really just discourage me even more. I know people are gonna say, cars kill people more than planes. 
So you might might as well not drive. I know, I know. <clears throat> but it's still different. There's still something really different about being in the air. I'm so high up. Not even really knowing how you are up there. And just trusting that you're going to make it down safely. Okay. I don't know how people do it who have to, um, like I have a lot of clients who travel a lot. Or like your, if your family members travel a lot. Like I would be a hot mess. Tasha went to Jamaica last June. All the, t the time that I knew that she was in the air, I was so paranoid and just anxious. Like, couldn't wait to hear that she was okay. It's just stressful to me. So, if you have to do that all the time or have to deal with your family ever being gone all the time, man. How do y'all do it? <clears throat> One of my clients says she loves flying. I'm like, as soon as I, I don't have a problem with like, going up tasha doesn't like um the takeoff i don't have a problem with the takeoff or even the landing it's that turbulence as soon as that turbulence hit i'm ready to start going crazy i'm about to die you know just too much i'm supposed to be planning a trip to hawaii this year I'm scared. I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. People be saying, um, like take a drink or something. And I don't know. I don't know, y'all. This is so dang good. So good. Ooh. We haven't really been, we haven't really mukbang in a few days, y'all, because we've been doing the challenges with Rhonda. So, I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Tasha been trying to eat seafood for the last two days. Now when it's time to do the video, she ain't hungry. This is so bomb. Everything is good. So, I have two viewer topics today, y'all. I got a backup fork in case I wasn't doing good with the chopsticks. Two viewer topics. If y'all want to send us a topic, send it to Steph and Tasha on Instagram. Mm. Oh, <coughs> I put too, <coughs> too much salt, too much spicy salt. Mm. I sauteed my lobster tail. What I did was I opened it from the back, pulled it out, cleaned it. And then just like flipped it over and pan sauteed it. I love it like that. And I'm pan to saute my shrimp as well. I steamed my lobster tail. I mean, my king crab. Tasha's gonna be coming to help me with the topic in a minute, y'all. Be patient with us if you're sending us topics. We're trying to get to as many as we can. We don't do topics every single day anymore, so it's gonna take us a little bit longer to get to you guys. Oh, you know what, guys? I also have my, this is just sea salt and um, pepper. I like to put the lime in there, like the seafood restaurants have taught me to do. I love this, it's so good. I really like this with like king crab and snow crab. Yes, hold up. Mm-hmm. Very good. That shit peppery as hell. I love pepper. I'm a pepper freak girl. I made the non-spicy ramen and then put too much. Too much to try? Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm. What kind of sauce is this? Just some stuff you made. Can I try it with a scrum? This? Yeah, it's stretch. Um, so it says I'm 22 with a one-year-old son. His father and I are not together and have never been together, but we are the best of friends. Mmm. Ooh. That's good. 
But it's you right. Like it? <laughs> mm -mm. You like it? That sauce bomb. I'm so shocked, y'all. What'd you put in it? This butter, lemon, lime. Um, I use monk fruit. Um, garlic, onion. Use hot, hot sauce. sauce. That's basically my. And sauce. lemon pepper. That's your sauce. Pretty much. No, it's not. That tastes better. You put a gang of stuff in yours. I it. want that. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm 22 with a one-year-old son. His, fi his father and I are not together and we've never been together, but we have been the best of friends and we love each other very much. Mm -hmm. I want to be a family with him and be together with him. The only problem is that he has a girlfriend. He also Wait, said, whoa, whoa. But they have a son together? They have a son together. But he has a girlfriend. Okay. Okay. He says he also wants to be with me, but he doesn't want to hurt the girl's feelings. We're still intimate very often. And we talk and text every single day. Wow. I feel like he's telling the truth about wanting to be with me because we don't lie to each other, but it still confuses me. What should I do? Do I stop messing around with him and move on? Or do I go after my family? Look like your family is your son. Right. No, I'm just playing. Um, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. What's her name? I need to see if she responded to the question I asked her. Go on, baby. Take it. Take the fluff. One thing that really caught my attention is the fact that she said, I know we don't lie. I mean, I, I believe him because we don't lie to each other. Uh, to me, that's a, a really naive to think that when he got a whole girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't lie to her. He tells her the truth and he lies to his girlfriend. Mm -mm. No? No. That, I, don't, I wouldn't believe that somebody that was doing that was telling me the truth about everything. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like about as far as he actually cares about her or... Yeah, or whatever. I mean, he, he wants to be with me, but he don't want to hurt his girlfriend. I, I wouldn't believe that. I would think he doesn't really want to be with me. Okay, wait. So when I asked her, I said, um, was he with her before you? And she responded and said, he was dating us at the same time, but dated her a little bit longer. He chose her. Then he dated... Wait. Wait, then he dated me ultimately. That's why he says he's with her. What? I don't I don't understand that. Uh -huh. Yes, he's lying to her. He's transparent with me. She doesn't even know that we work together. That who? Him and her? I don't know. Or them too. Her or them too. Oh no. Go ahead, baby. You got enough information mm -mm. right there. Mm-mm. You got enough information. Girl. Women too much, I think. Get comfortable with like, like the ones, I'm the main one, or I'm the one that knows everything. He's he's basically cheating on both of y'all. Whatever he's telling you, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not the whole truth. If he wanted to be with you, he would not be with her. <laughs> I mean, that's what I think. I don't think he would just be staying with her because he doesn't want to hurt her feelings, but he really, really, really wants to be with you. No. He's making you feel like that. Because he's making you comfortable with the fact that he's with her. Exactly. He's trying to make you comfortable and okay with the fact that he's with her. Mm -mm. He may, in fact, care about both of you guys. He probably does. But if you guys are not, both both women are not open to an open relationship or a, a polyamory type relationship, then it's not going to work and he's being untruthful. Right. He's already lying to the other girl. Yeah, so basically he knew that you would be okay with it, so he don't have to lie to you. He thinks that she's going to leave. That's why he's lying to her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't think you special. Because he telling you the truth. No, he he knows you'll put up with it because you have been. Yeah. I think some people that cheat, they choose to cheat on their wife. They don't tell their wife the truth, but they may tell the girl they're cheating with the truth because the girl they're cheating with just wants whatever she wants from him. And it's easier to tell somebody you don't care about what's going on because that's not the person you care to lose. I mean, I'm sorry, you don't care to lose exactly. that person. Even though it's deceitful to lie, and it's like, why would you lie to somebody you care about? But uh, because I'm being selfish and I don't want to lose the one I care about, so I'm going to lie to her mm -hmm. and tell the truth to the girl I really don't care about because I don't care whether we together or not. You kind of get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think he's keeping her at bay with the, oh, I'm texting you every day, so, you know, it, it must mean I really love you and you know, maybe he's saying that him and the girl don't talk that much So he's basically giving her a lot of attention But he's he's giving you just enough to stay where you are once again Do not allow something you don't really want 
if you don't want to be basically a mistress is what you are. Your mistress, mistress. Are you allowing him to have two lives? That's what you're doing. If you don't want that, you can't. You just can't allow it. Yeah. Don't give him any more yeah. of that energy. You need to allow somebody else to have your heart fully. Exactly. Give your heart to yourself first, though. Yeah. Because you need to love yourself yep. and realize that I'm worth more than being someone's extra mm -hmm. um, piece. You know, it's not fair. The question is, should she leave or keep, keep dealing with this? Yeah. She wants to know, should she stop messing with him or should she go after her family? Which I would is probably what she feels like she should do. She probably feels like that's my family. Mm -mm. You know, I got to fight for it. But he's not fighting I for mean, it. He's the one that's somewhere else. If you want to tell him, okay, I'm done being a side piece and I want you to leave so we can be together and see what he says, maybe. But I feel, still feel like he's not a trustworthy man. So, I mean, you getting yourself caught up in a person with a person who be cheating and likes to cheat. He'll probably go find another girl who's okay with being a side piece, be with you and not tell you the truth, right. and that's what it's going to be. You know what you got, basically. You know what you have, so. I would leave. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I would definitely leave, you know. I mean, if I was him and I was that type of person, I would be like... I will be having the time of my life right now. Okay. I have a baby okay. with one woman. I don't have to be around the baby 24-7 and take care of it all the time. I basically have a, a babysitter and a, a intimate partner in one. Then I can go to my single, my girl that don't have kids, and go out whenever I want to and have fun with her and just do pretty much whatever I want to do. I talk to the baby mama whenever I want. I mean, I'm just doing it all. I'm just living the life, you know? And one of them knows. So the only issue, I have, a lot of times people have two people that they're lying to. And it's harder when you lie to two people. But if you're being honest with one per, I mean, if you're yeah, if you're being honest with one person, that one person really ain't gonna blow your cover, so you're really not upset, worried about nothing. He got it kind of good because he doesn't have to worry about well, what if she tells or what if I mean, she he probably can't worry about that. But and think about it this. very easy for him to think about this too. As much as he's saying that he's telling you the truth and not telling her nothing, how how much can you even really believe that if y'all still intimate all the time? He talks and texting to you all the time. You think his woman don't know something? How can he, how can she not know? He over here texting and talking to her? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, he might, he, she probably doesn't look at his She home. ain't stupid. I'll tell you that. Ain't nobody stupid. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay. You, you might be able to have an affair where it's like, okay, I see this person once a month and your person not know. You cannot be with somebody all the time. You cannot be with, like, you couldn't be with another person all the time and be talking and texting to them every single day and I not, and I not feel something, know something, feel something from you, you know, come on now, that lady knows something. She know, she knows something. And who knows, he might be telling her the truth too. She might just be like, well, I'm the main woman. I mean, there's a lot of main women who don't care. They're going to be like, I'm going to be the main woman. Cardi B. Royalty. Okay. Whoa. I mean, <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. a lot of main bitches that yeah. not that that think all men cheat. Yeah, that's true. So. so don't don't be naive. Don't let him tell you stuff and you just believe everything he says. I don't see you don't. There's no reason to trust him. Right. In my opinion, leave him alone. You he, you're, you're not. You don't deserve it. That's it. That's it. If y'all got, if you guys have any advice on her, please leave it in the comments below. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. I know I said two topics. We went way too far with the one, so we're probably gonna do the second topic either on maybe your uh, solo or something we do together tomorrow. Comment, let us know what you guys think. Please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you set your notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace.